It was a sad day in Fresh Meadows, Queens, as St. Francis Prep's legendary varsity football coach Vince O'Connor was laid to rest. Coach O'Connor passed away last Saturday at the age of 85. He served as the head football coach of the Terriers program for 62 years and was revered within the local Catholic League. What he did is he used football to get kids to believe in Christ, to be people of commitment, to be people of passion, to be people of faith. St. Francis Prep was closed this week for February break, but it was no surprise that the auditorium was filled with current and former players who came back to pay their respect to their coach. It's an emotional day for everybody because he put so much impactful thoughts into all his players. And me just be, happened to be one who was a local kid, and I was fortunate enough to you know, be successful in the sport that I love and that he loved, and that he had a lot to do with. His legacy will continue for years and years. The second reading talked about, I have fought the fight, I have run the race, I've completed the task. Vince has done that. He has done all that he can do, and now he leaves it to us, a call to spread the good news of Jesus that every person is important, that every person makes a difference. Service, you know, do service for others, and, and the more you can help, help your fellow teammate and be a team, develop young men, develop young men to be coaches, develop young men to be teachers, I think that's really along the lines of what Coach really stood for. Coach O'Connor is second all-time in New York State history with 341 wins, and his teams won 16 Catholic League titles. But all records aside, the coach's main focus was on molding young boys into men. Sure, the football records speak for themselves, but Coach O'Connor will always be remembered for taking a genuine interest in each of his players, no matter their skill level. He was always there. Like When you talked to him, it felt like you were the only person that meant to him. Every kid was, a, whether he was a star player or a third stringer, every kid was the most important kid in the program, and he remembers every single kid. The school's state-of-the-art fitness center is already named after the coach, but his legacy will live on every time the Terriers football team takes the field. His legacy does live on, and not because he's not here, you know, physically. He's here, he'll be here spiritually his whole life, and I'm my whole life for sure. Um, and all the people he impacted. So while today may have seemed like a sad day, it was also a day to celebrate the impact Coach O'Connor had on the St. Francis Prep community. His spirit will live on every day in the place that was his second home for the past 62 years. Reporting for Currents, I'm Jim Mancari.